Welcome to the Mindy Paul Show, the podcast where we discuss mind, money, business and manifestation all in one mic. Having worked with business owners, CEOs and executives in industries from accountants, lawyers, dentists, coaches, consultants and even Hollywood producers, just to mention a few from across the globe on how to earn more and work less and attract an abundance of your dream clients. Now their circumstances may differ, but my message remains the same. You've got so far doing things your way. Now if it's not working your way, why not try someone else's way that's been proven to work? So what do you say? Are you ready to give mine a shot? So today I want to talk about something really, really important. People talk about manifestation, the law of attraction, grab some water. And a lot of the people forget one, well, not one thing, lots of different things that people forget. We talk about visualization. We talk about taking time out to um, meditate, you know, read goals, affirmations, all that kind of stuff, relaxing. Um, and all that kind of stuff. But one thing that a lot of people forget in the midst of things, it's a nice word, right? In the midst of things is they forget that they've actually got to control their fucking mind throughout the whole day. Hmm. I've been doing my visualization this morning, Mindy. I've done my gratitude every morning. I've, I've done this, that, and the other, but I'm still not seeing results. I'm, I'm not able to see results. I'm still not winning. It's not working. But here's the thing. How do you expect it to work? How do you expect it to work when we should adjust the volume to make sure it's not too loud? How do we expect it to work if we're not controlling our mind for the rest of the day? Now, OK, it's important to have a morning routine. It's important to have a routine full stop. But where people really fuck up is they've got a morning routine. Once they've finished the morning routine, once they've finished doing their visualization, maybe you do a morning med uh, meditation, maybe do a yoga class, maybe you write some goals out. Maybe you stare at your vision board, cracking one off and you and you think that's enough. So when you finish your routine, your 30 minute routine or 40 minute routine or whatever it is, what happens? You go back to your own old way of thinking, old way of doing stuff. And, um, Here's the thing. If you're going to go exercise, right? Very simple concept. If you're going to go exercise in the morning, get a workout, just because you worked out, it doesn't say that you can go eat some crap, right? Let me go some get, get a McDonald's breakfast. Let me go get some crap to eat because you're going to undo all the work that you did in the morning. Now, this stuff is no different. We've got to have mind control. Now, if you can't control your own fucking mind, how do you expect to control what you manifest into your life? I want you to really think about this and I want you to think about yourself in relation to this concept I've just mentioned, mind control. Now, if you're not able to control your own mind, if you're not able to control where your own thoughts are going, where, where you're projecting your thoughts and your energy and your attention, and your focus and all that kind of good stuff, how can we manifest something other to what we're focused on? Ooh, interesting, right? Now, this isn't complex stuff. It really isn't. But it requires discipline. It requires developing a new habit. So I want you to ask yourself, is your, is your mindset, your mind control throughout the day congruent with what you're doing in the morning? Is your mind control congruent with what you want to manifest in your life? Because we will manifest what we focus on. People don't really talk about this sort of stuff, right? We, our mind is being controlled by media through YouTube. Well, that is media, right? Our mind is being controlled 24 seven from stuff that's happening on the outside. And we live by that. So we've got to make a conscious choice that, you know what? Hey, listen, this is where I'm going. I'm aiming for my first meal. I'm, um, I'm, earning, um, um, I'm aiming for my first 100K month. But let me see if everything's in alignment to that 100K month. What's my mindset? What, what's it like? How is it actually set? Because your mind is set. Mindset, if you break down those two words, mind and set, your mind is set in a certain way. Okay, I really want to wake people up that you can't just just kind of do the studying part of things, right? The, 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 the reading, the studying, if you're not going to control your mind. It's so important. Look around you and see how many people are actually controlling their minds. You may be listening to some, to this podcast with somebody else with you in, in your car, maybe you're at work, whatever. But how many people actually do you know that you can probably count on one hand that have absolute concentrated control over their mind? You'll find not many. People's minds wonder. 
People don't have that discipline, don't have that focus to stay in one place for long enough. Maybe right now you're listening to this podcast and your mind is elsewhere. Like, you know, what am I going to do at the weekend? What am I going to eat tonight? What happened last night? What happened on TV? What happened to that Netflix, Netflix series? Series, not series. Serious Netflix series, right? So how, how, of, how much of your mind have you been controlling? Out of the, say you're awake for 10 hours of the day. How much of that time are you in control of your thoughts, your emotions? How much of that time are you actually, are you actually thinking about what you do want versus what you don't want? It's quite astonishing, really. It surprises me because I see people that are in the mindset space. I've, I speak to coaches all the time that are supposed to be teaching this stuff. And yet everything is focused on what they don't want. Always. Listen, I, I have I had somebody this morning trying to talk some rubbish to me about someone else. And, and I said, listen, like, I really I ain't really interested. I really do not have time for that. And I said, like, I'm not interested. Do not have time for that. If we're not going to have a constructive conversation, I think we need to cut the call because it's on a Zoom call. I said, I'm not interested. We, we've got to stop right there because I don't want my mind to be focused on something that's going on that someone said to somebody else. I don't want to get emotionally involved with somebody else's bullshit. I don't want to get emotionally involved with someone's argument. How many times have you been kind of drawn in to um, a conflict of some sort? Man, listen, if it's not serving me, I don't want to be around it. I would rather spend that time that 15 minutes focusing on maybe mapping out what I need to get done. Maybe thinking about oh, what sort of content do I need to produce. I'd rather spend that 15 minutes going through my CRM system. I'd, I'd, do, I'd rather do that, something else with that, with that time. So we've got to really become um, conscious of where we're spending most of our time. Not just physically. And now you'll find that where your mindset is, where you focus on most of your time, your physical actions will also reflect where you spend most of your time. I want you to think about it. I've really kind of broken this down over the years. I'm like, I'm looking back, like when I was broke, when I, when my business was struggling, was when I wasn't attracting clients. When I was dreaming, when I was going into those poor showrooms and the Lamborghini showrooms and nice homes, I'm like looking at myself like, where was most of my mind occupied then? It was, it was on lack. Because that was showing up in my life. No matter what I say now, it was focused on lack. That's where my thinking was. That Your results do not lie. Your results will tell you a perfect picture of what's going on in your mind, what you've been up to, what you've been thinking about, what you've been entertaining. So if we can't, this message today is if we cannot control our mind, if we can't master our mind, how can we be in control of what we bring in, what we draw in from the universe into our lives, into our bank balances, into our businesses. It doesn't work. So this is a real str strong, solid lesson to you all. No, you might have your morning routine, but just having a routine is not enough. you got to do the work that goes behind the routine, which is what most people fail at. A lot of the time I speak to some clients. I'm like, all right, tell me what, what are your action steps? What have you been doing? Um, there's not many of them, by the way, because I get rid of them. What have you been doing? Oh, I'm planning a webinar. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else are you doing? Oh, um, I'm thinking about speaking on this uh, on this stage. Um, right. I'm like, that's not an activity that you can do today. That's a part of a plan. That's a bigger plan. Don't get your don't get your action steps confused with your plan. Your plan is an overall plan. It's a is a big plan, right? Like a planet, and within that planet, you have got little countries, right? So think about your Think about you, what you're doing right now. Are you actually are you actually putting the work behind the mindset of the person that you want to create? Or are you kind of just leaving it into the distance, into the future? Oh, it will happen. It's today. The only thing that we have is today. Really, really. And that's a, a big lesson in itself. All we have is the here and the now. Here and now. Like, what, what are you thinking of here and now? So I want you to start to become aware of your mindset. Okay, mind control. Mind control over and over again, mind control, mind control, mind control, because if you don't control your mind, your mind will be someone else's bitch. Someone else will be controlling your mind. It could be an outcome. It could be some undesirable situations that you got going on, stuff that's going on in your business. So we want to understand that. Listen, we have to. We have to mind control ourselves because otherwise, you know what? We will be a plaything to the outside. Right, right now, there's been so much awareness on um, 
how our minds are actually being controlled. So much talk on media like celebrities are coming forward and, you know, trying to expose Different type of organizations. I'm not going to mention any organizations right now. You probably want me to say the Illuminati. Or, or people, right? Organizations that, that that we... Listen, if you don't believe that we're being controlled, that we're in a system, you're asleep. You need to wake up. You know, everybody just gets caught up with what's going on inside the media and stuff. Um, one thing that, you know, if you want to be highly successful, you've got to be able to do your own thinking for yourself. You don't allow other people to control your thinking because then it's game over. We hand over our power to the outside. Okay, I hope this is making sense to you. So um, listen, 10 minute podcast, mind control. It's a 10 minute, but just over 10 minutes now, by the time I wrap this up, but mind control, are you controlling your mind? Are your kids controlling their mind? Is your partner controlling their mind? Or are you being a plaything for the outside? Okay, be in control of your own mind or permit others to be in control of your own mind, your mind, one mind, right? It's your mind, you make it up and you got to control that. You got to divert that to whichever way and ends that you want. Okay. So wrapping up, this is how it happens. See you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Mindy Paul Show. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, be sure to check out the show notes where you can find helpful links to learn how to reach your personal and professional success. Thank you again. Until next time.